we can do with this file. So we are going to start with raw again, because this is a raw picture. And all right, scroll up and down. Here we've got, again, all of our raw controls. The exposure on this is probably pretty good. Maybe darken it just a little bit in there. I think I'll bring up the saturation a little bit. And, ooh, a bit too much there. And let's bring up some structure, since we got that on a little structure into that. Cool, you can really overdo that. Let's not go carried away. A little structure in there there. Cool, digging it. OK, so I'm going to hit the checkbox on the bottom right, and that applies that. And now let's get into some of these other tools that we have. So again, to access these, just tap on the uh, bottom right corner, the little pencil tool, click on there. It opens up, and you've got access to all of the fun tools. We're going to start with the tools across the top. We'll get into a couple of these today, and then we'll continue where we left off next time. So tune image, again, is the primary, primary adjustment and largely is similar to the ones you have in RAW. But of course, these are available post -raw, pro post raw process or if you're not working with the raw file to begin with. So you have your basic brightness, contrast, saturation. Ambience is one that I really, really like. Ambience is a very nice exposure adjustment tool that does a very good job of protecting the highlights and the shadows. You can see in here, I'm really changing the look of the scene Way, and look at the top, you see how much I'm going left to right on this thing. Really changing the look of the scene without killing the shadows, right? If I just went in and went to, say, brightness, obviously the whole image is way bright, or way dark, way bright. Definitely not what I'm looking for here. But if, if I've got good highlights and good shadows, Ambience does a very nice job of adjusting the in-between. So this is by far one of my favorite adjustments in here. I think ambience is just beautiful, works really, really nicely. And that works great on, on JPEG files as well. Remember, we are post raw process here. So the same things we're saying here will work on a JPEG. You warm it up a little bit, cool it down, all these kind of nice adjustments in here. Okay, so highlight shadows, very, very normal, traditional adjustment tools that you would find in here. Okay, so that, that's what you got there. Now you do have on the bottom a little button that says auto adjust. So I can tap that and it'll do an auto and you can decide whether you like that or not or go back into the manual way. Tapping that button on the bottom there, the adjust button, by the way, just brings up the tools. Same as just tapping and dragging up and down on the screen. So you don't have to tap that button. So now that I've totally screwed it up, let's go back. Ambience, I liked my little bit darker ambience in there that I had. I think that looks pretty good. All right, cool. Um, bottom right, we have the checkbox. Bottom left is a, um, a, a X box. And just above that X is a little histogram tool. So you can open that up so you can keep an eye on your histogram while you're working. So you can, you can definitely see that and see if you're crushing your shadows or highlights and so on. So you do have that little readout down there. Also in the top right, before I jump out of here, before I forget, you do have a before and after. So just tap and hold on the top right there and it just does a quick toggle to before and after. All right, before I go into the next one, I see there is a question from Lauren saying, what's the difference between Snapseed and Lightroom? A lot. <laughs> we are showing Snapseed, of course. One of the things that I mentioned in the beginning, big difference between Snapseed and Lightroom is that for, for raw image editing, Lightroom is raw all the way through the process, whereas Snapseed has a raw module, which is then handed off to the rest of the adjustments. So it is not a raw pipeline from start to finish where Lightroom is. Lightroom, of course, also syncs up with Lightroom on the desktop and so on. But and Lightroom is, I love Lightroom, love Lightroom Mobile. I think it's a really, really nicely done app. This is just different, has a different way to work. And as you will see shortly here, there are some tools in here that are not in Lightroom and the other way around as well. You know, you use whatever tool suits you. I would say for a quick edit, I would jump into Snapseed. I could do things more quickly in Snapseed than I can in Lightroom. That would be just my kind of throw out there. All right, let's see here. Uh, let's uh, get back into this. Okay, so bottom right, going to tap the check mark. That brings me out of here. And I now have that adjustment applied, and now I can apply something else. So the next one is details. Details has just a couple of controls, structure and sharpening. Now, remember, we had structure in the raw processing, but if this hadn't been a raw file to begin with, then, you know, this would be the only place we have structure. Structure, of course, just adds all kinds of lovely detail and contrast to certain areas, like the rocks in here. That's where you really see it come up in there or negative structure it does do a nice little soft focus blur on there as well. So it's not a blurred image, it's a soft focus kind of thing. So we can add a little bit of structure in here, or and or we can add sharpening. And sharpening, same type of thing. Again, micro contrast done a little bit differently. Always you know, go in close to your image and really make sure that you're not overdoing the sharpening or uh, structure. It's just one of the things to watch out for. It's easy, easy, easy to overdo it. Remember, you've got your 
You've just watched a five minute sample of a live training video. To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash member.